What's going on everyone? It's Kawande back with another one for you. Book 6 is finally here, dude. And it's crazy. You guys want to make sure you stick around to the end because you will not see this coming. I promise you, dude. Your mind is about to be blown. So as Catwoman and Batman are standing there stranded with no zero point energy to get them home, Catwoman brings up that she had actually snatched the zero point gun that Deathstroke had used to get back to Gotham City. It's just a little bit broken. They're going to have to use that. They're going to have to use that in order to get back home. There we go. Just like that. Thanks for the spaz, homie. I'm trying to get back home. Sick of living in this loop. But if you remember, they need a third person to emit energy in order for them to go back to Gotham City. And that's when they remember that Harley Quinn was actually on the island back in the earlier comics. So they decide to go back and see if they can find where Harley Quinn is. So they use the zero point gun to navigate back to the island and they stumble upon Harley Quinn. However, they realize that she can also talk. So it probably doesn't affect people with an insane type of mind, but she lets them know that she's not ready to go home at all. She likes it there. She puts up quite a fight and then they end up having to take her in by force. Once she's knocked out, they run into a mob kind of fighting together to stop them. It's not your everyday Fortnite mob that's after them. It's actually duplicates of themselves. So this, this Batman has the armor on that I'm wearing. And then there's a Catwoman with a full bodysuit as well. They're able to make a quick escape and go back to the zero point hub, the IO, the IO guard base. After they've got everything set up, Batman decides to put an explosive battering on the panel that controls the zero point so that it's broken and no one can kind of go in between dimensions anymore through that portal. But before they leave, Catwoman's really hesitant. She doesn't want to leave because she feels as though she's built this kind of relationship with Batman, not only through survival and shared trauma, but the fact that they know each other through their past experiences and whatever life that they may have in Gotham. She doesn't want what they currently have to be ruined by that. So Batman goes and tries to console her and convince her that, hey, no matter what happens, I'm sure we'll be able to work it out together. We just gotta trust the process. So they travel back to Gotham and both of their memories of not only each other, but their life as they knew it before they went to the Fortnite Island rush back to them. Catwoman suddenly storms off. Batman tries to stop her from leaving. Catwoman interrupts her by saying, I told you we should have stayed. And that's the last we see of her in this comic. Batman's kind of down, not pleased with how things turned out, but he meets up with Jim Gordon. Jim Gordon reassures him, hey man, no matter what, you were able to figure that out and the rift is out of the sky. So hopefully we don't have to have anybody coming in from another dimension or anything like that. We're safe for now. Batman kind of hangs his head down and is like, yeah, whatever. I guess that worked, but not exactly the way that I had wanted. But then there's an unexpected twist that happens. We suddenly see Lex Luthor sitting in a chair with a drink in his hand. Where is this spaceship? Oh, there's more than one. <laughs> Just when I start telling the story, things get a little intense. Lex Luthor sitting there with a drink in his hand, conversing with someone. I just hit him with one AR shot, that's funny. He's conversing with someone with a drink in his hand, saying that their mission was such a success, but the person that he is talking to is none other than the Batman who laughs. And who would know Batman better than a Batman from a different dimension? We'll just get to zone here. So it was a collaboration between Lex Luthor and the Batman who laughs that made it possible for Batman to figure out how the Fortnite loop works and all the intricacies of what the Fortnite island is capable of. But get this, it then cuts to Agent Sloan sitting in a chair with an IO guard right next to her. Her and Lex Luthor start talking and she's come to the conclusion that it's really good that they had Batman on the island because he did the heavy lifting for them. And so now it seems as though that they can bend not only the Fortnite world as they wish, they can also mess with other dimensions because of the zero point energy. So they're, they're scheming to Together. I did not expect Agent Sloan to be working with Lex Luthor or to be on the bad side of everything. I should have because, you know, she works with the IO guards, the imaginary order. But it is really interesting to see that's how it's, it's played out so far. And the last frame of the comic shows, it reads that this is far from over. 
So maybe this is just a collection of six comics in an entire series about Fortnite and Batman. So I'm excited to see how far this collaboration will go. The fact that this story runs so much deeper than I had anticipated originally just goes to show how crazy Fortnite is, not only as a game, but a platform for all different types of entertainment and characters and media to kind of show up, show off their skills and be a part of the Fortnite lore. It's really interesting and I'm stoked that Batman was a part of it. I'm stoked that he's gonna continue to be a part of it. Oh, it's getting crazy, bro. Nice, nice shot. Go. Let's take our time, regroup. We'll get that guy's mats so. though. Nice. Jeez, man. I really want it. Dang, bro. Good job. Good job. I told you, you guys wouldn't expect that twist. I know I didn't. What's been your favorite part of this series so far? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, man. I truly appreciate you all. Give me that thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell so you guys never miss anything, all right? And I'll catch you guys in the next one.